welcome to the channel today finally is the day where I got on on the bike for the first time this year last week we still had a pile of snow believe it or not week before that uh, another 30 or 40 uh, 30 centimeters or so so we got in end of March and uh, beginning of April with uh, two nice dumps of snow at the end of the winter even though the winter wasn't too harsh this year it didn't have too much snow it just happened at the end when the temperatures started changing back and forth now last couple days it has been warm uh, 12 degrees or so but today first thing in the morning it is uh, 4 degrees at this time and it is uh, 10 almost 10 30 so it is not the warmest day still later on it's gonna hit 12 but uh, that's later in the afternoon today i decided to head out and uh, get rid of the itch that i had already for a few months uh, this year i haven't been riding in the winter at all because even though we didn't have much snow but it was icy and uh, quite cold right after new year's uh, and on a new year's eve with rain uh, and that started freezing and day after it turned into snow so that's how the winter looked in uh, calgary alberta this year last week uh, i went with the family to hike uh, just around kenmore to grotto canyon it was a nice family day on sunday uh, my daughter wife and myself uh, took a short hike uh, to Grotto Canyon to see the frozen waterfall uh, on the way we have encounter, uh, encountered a climber so people still have fun even though it is cold uh, or winter people still enjoy the mountains as much as they can today since uh, first ride of the season I'm not gonna go really far I'm just gonna head out to McLean Creek uh, that's about uh, 50 kilometers from my home. I want to see how it looks on that side Because uh, closer to the mountains in Kenmore There's still a lot of snow. I'm curious how it looks down in Kananaski's country If uh, they, there is a lot of snow still, I have a feeling it is. I'll get to the McLean Creek and I'll check out that area there See how that looks. I think it might be open only uh, up to Elbow Falls if I have time, I'll maybe swing by there too. We'll see. But today I just wanted to take the bike out and uh, enjoy it for a little bit. Even though it is quite chilly. Actually, I gotta turn on the heated grips. I'm wearing a thinner gloves. I should have put the warmer gloves, but sometimes it's much easier to ride in those. So, so we'll see how soon we will encounter snow outside of Calgary. You can feel that breeze. Also, last week, or it might be two weeks before you watch this video, uh, I made a video about the helmet and fogging up. And today is the day that I mentioned in that video where the morning temperature is sort of cool and you are breathing warm air in a helmet and they start to fog up. There's many other solutions that I mentioned uh, in a video, but I was mostly concentrating about the helmet pin lock, uh, the one that I bought from Amazon that you can stick on the helmet. And you don't need to have a helmet that uh, comes with the pin lock, or uh, even my helmet, for example, uh, Schubert C3 Pro. It had a pin lock uh, that came with it, but uh, there's few things that I didn't like and I, I also talked about it in the video. If you're having problems like that with fogging up helmet, the $40 Canadian from Amazon is a perfect solution. Right now I am riding and I have no fog accumulating in the helmet, so the pin lock definitely works. So it looks like I didn't get too far, about 20 kilometers out of west out of Calgary and the snow starts to appear 
and today we have uh, what date is today I don't even know let's see here April 11th normally this time of the year gets quite nice that stuff is not there I was usually riding in March but it is what it is and also I want to add that this year the big trip that we're planning we will be heading out again to Utah so we will be riding from Calgary to Utah we're not going to be towing the bikes there might be a group of five of us uh, things might still change we don't know yet 100% uh, who is going there's uh, I think there's four of us that confirmed 100% but this couple guys are still thinking so we'll see what kind of a group we get this year to go to go from Calgary to Utah and if you follow my channel you know last year we did the Idaho BDR and we were talking about finishing the last two sections because uh, of the on section 5 we had a uh, few mishaps and uh, we couldn't continue the way our motorcycle were more functioning and uh, I blew the radiator fan my friend uh, BMW didn't want it to start so we had problems and we decided to return from there through Washington back to Canada uh, BC and back to Alberta so if you haven't seen that those uh, that ride and you're interested to see some stuff from the Idaho BDR especially the Lolo Pass which was uh, I got to say quite challenging uh, because there was nobody on it and uh, our GPX file for some reason routed us uh, on the toughest section of the Lolo Pass uh, uh, instead of a Lolo Pass motorway like uh, most of the normal people are doing but we made it we made it across it was a super long day I broke the um, camel bracket uh, in uh, Elk City had to find a guy that was able to weld it for me and uh, another trip before that uh, in 2022 we went to Utah and that was a blast but going to Utah I think for me it's gonna be a fourth time now it's uh, never disappointing there's always something that you find a new route to ride uh, the off-roading there is uh, just out of this world and the sceneries are always so beautiful I love Utah but uh, that might be a a last trip for a while to Utah now because uh, like I said four times that's uh, gonna explore some more stuff not sure where we're gonna go next year yet that's uh, let's finish this year but I do have in mind the coastal highway the Pacific coastal highway from Canada to San Diego maybe we'll see but there won't be much of off-roading that will be mostly Pave the routes so this year we still might have to do we still may do some off-roading in Utah yeah the mountains are covered in the snow so that might still take some time before it's it's gonna melt Yep, it looks like there's more and more snow the closer I get this year while I'll be riding and discovering here the local areas I'll be trying to scout some sites where I can kill a deer because I want to try hunting so over the winter I did my certifications uh, to go hunting and uh, this year I would love to try hunting and hopefully shoot a deer or elk that would be awesome I'm really looking forward to that but that's in a I'm closer to the end of the year in November that's where the usually hunting season is opening until then every time I'll be riding I'll bring my binoculars 
and uh, I'll be checking out different areas here in the Crown land or public land in Alberta to see where the animals are hanging out because a lot of them are actually hanging out on private property similar to this stuff here and in order to hunt here you need a permission from the farmer and uh, they're not easy to get because people that started that are doing this for a, for um, a long time they already have the agreements with the landowners even right now the reason why i'm heading out to mclean creek i want to find an area where i can bring my rifles to sight them at 100 yards so they will be ready for hunting season also i will be going a few times probably to shoot just to practice because i don't have much experience with shooting i shot it uh, i shot the rifle and shotgun because uh, my brother is hunting for a very long time already so i did have some exposure to that but uh, on my own i never attempted it so even though you learn everything on the course but it's uh, so quick and i would like to know the gun i would like to uh, be very familiar with it so when it comes to going hunting i'll be ready for it because you can't take the gun out of the box and go hunting the chances would be very slim that you hit something even if you see it so just bypass the intersection to Brack Creek and now uh, pretty soon I will be entering Kananaski's country so I'm almost at the entrance of Kananaski's country and the south side still got a lot of snow same as last year when I was, came here for a first ride except it was a little bit earlier it looks exactly the same but believe it or not in the forest the snow is on both sides so here just the road is actually where it's open it doesn't have snow so actually what I will do first instead of going straight to McLean Creek I'll go first towards Elbow Falls and I'll turn around there I come back and uh, go back to McLean it says that it's minus 9 Celsius but I don't think it's actually that warm because it's it is quite chilly even, even though I have um, uh, my liner on a jacket and pants and a warmer sweater today because otherwise it would be quite cold to ride and the older I get the more I hate cold let's put it that way I wish I live in a warmer climate so you can have a longer riding season and along with uh, many other activities because here basically starting now till November there's not too many months to enjoy so I just pass the McLean exit and uh, carry on I do have a pass I always purchase the yearly one I even got the Crownland camping pass this year because uh, we come here quite a bit good to have one actually here doesn't look like there's too much snow I haven't seen a single rider today I guess people are still not crazy I've seen them riding in the city uh, even Harleys were out and uh, the, some of they started they started sweeping some of the main drags in Calgary so that's why you see the motorcycles in Calgary not so much on the road I've seen uh, last Sunday oh there was deer I missed them buggers and of course they're hanging out where you can't hunt them 
So anyway, so I've been riding here from Calgary today, haven't seen a single motorcycle. Am I the only nutcase? It is still chilly for most of people, it's not pleasant weather to ride. I say the same thing, it's not pleasant, but it's it will do when, uh, when you're itching to ride, that's for sure. Uh, we are at Elbow Falls and uh, believe it or not, there's quite a few people here. And the horses are out by the looks of it. Different strokes for the different folks. Even though we did have quite a bit of snow, and I think that snowed in the mountains as well. Not many people here, it's Thursday. On the weekend it gets more busy. So yeah, the road towards Forget Me Not Pond and Powder Face is still closed till May 15th. And they actually have a time, the road reopens at 8 a.m. and it closes at 8 a.m. on December 1st. So May 15th, 8 a.m. You can be here and line up to go on Powder Face, which probably is still covered in snow even on May 15th, I would say. Anyways, let's turn around and uh, head out to McLean Creek. staring at me and the other one crossed the road to the other side so they're separated now 